what up guys and still the wb uh wbo featherweight champion of the world oscar valdez um it was pretty much expected we pretty much knew that this was gonna happen but um one thing i can say about the japanese guy is he has a great chin honestly he did get knocked down once but oscar valdez was throwing some bombs and even uh, after like the third fourth and fifth round i was like man dude this guy's taking a beating but he got a chin and honestly i didn't think he he was gonna get the knockout i thought i was like okay he's dominating he's gonna win all 12 rounds probably a shutout but i don't think he's gonna be able to get the knockout but he was able to get the knockout in uh uh, what was it, the fifth or sixth round? Uh, one of those I forgot. But it was a good fight. He completely dominated the fight. Um, this guy, this Japanese guy, I would uh, definitely like to watch him again because, you know, he's pretty much a veteran uh, with experience, and he was taking those punches like a champ. And, of course, we already know Oscar Valdez is uh, a rising star. Honestly, I feel like... Um, he's, I feel like he's the next Canelo, honestly. Uh, they're pretty much doing the same thing that they did with Canelo. As you guys know, um, Canelo was in a lot of undercards, uh, that were of the main event being Floyd Mayweather. And then you guys know how that turned out. Um, I feel like they're doing the same thing. Uh, Oscar Valdez has been in, uh, Manny Pacquiao's undercards. And, you know, pretty much he has a huge Mexican fan base. Um, I'm pretty sure not only a Mexican fan base, but he has that fan friendly style. Always going for the knockout and he definitely delivers. And, you know, he just gets so excited and emotional in the ring. Um, I think that's pretty dope. Unfortunately, we did not uh, get to hear or at least um, I didn't get to hear um, the post fight predictions. So we really don't know who he's targeting next, but I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have a problem with fighting uh, the Frampton Santa Cruz 2 winner, Lee Selby, Gary Russell Jr., uh, maybe the Cuellar uh, Mares winner, um, now that uh, Bob Arum and uh, Al Heyman are working together, that would be a pretty dope fight. As for this other guy, I would uh, definitely keep my eye out on for him, because, uh, you know, I was pretty impressed with what he did today. He didn't do much, but I was pretty impressed. He was tagging him here and there, but definitely the work ratio that uh, Valdez has. Um, I don't know. I think personally it's going to be a style that's going to be hard to beat. Unless you're like a Lomachenko or something like that. But Lomachenko is at 130 right now. And uh, I was watching some interviews and uh, he said, or Valdez said that... Um, he has no intention of moving up to 130 until he pretty much cleans out the division, which I think is pretty dope. A unification fight would be dope, but we just don't know who he's going to fight next. But yeah, that was just a little quick video. Oscar Valdez, uh, Valdez is doing his thing, definitely. Um, I see big things uh, in Valdez's future. So yeah, that was just a little quick video. Go ahead and comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all my other videos. Peace.